It's rare that a children's TV show is such an enormous hit that it's broadcast all around the world in 24 different languages. Well, that show is Dora the Explorer. It's a huge international success, helping kids in the United States learn Spanish and children in many other countries learn English. Well, we had the chance to go behind the scenes to meet the brand new star of Dora and see how kids are learning about other languages and cultures. We had such an amazing adventure today. What was your favorite part of the trip? She may not look familiar to you, but if you have preschoolers, you probably recognize her voice. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for helping. Gracias. That's right. It's Dora the Explorer. Hola, soy Dora. Well, actually, it's 12-year-old Caitlin Sanchez lending her voice to Dora. Everyone knows to That was so perfect. Caitlin recently signed on as the brand new voice of Dora, chosen from about 600 little girls. What were you thinking when you knew there were so many other girls? I, I only saw about seven girls. I didn't know that there were like 600 girls auditioning until much later. Like, it's a little like intimidating, but I'm very happy. Yeah. And then to I can't believe out. I got it. Let's try one where we do. I like that too. I like that too. What do your friends think like about you being the voice too. of Dora? They're really happy for me and they're really supportive. They're also really curious about like how I get the voice recorded and how I get it done. And they're always ask, they're always bringing my their little brothers and sisters and asking me to do the voice for them. And sometimes I go I call them on the phone and my Dora voice and they all freak out. <laughs> And it's no wonder they freak out. Door the Explorer is the number one rated preschool show on all of television. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! The interactive adventure series about a seven-year-old girl takes place in an imaginative, tropical world complete with beaches, jungles, and rainforests. I think that there's an intimacy about Dora that's very unique. I think that kids, when they watch the show, um, really think that she's speaking to them and that she's their friend and that she really needs them. Preschoolers love watching the show and characters like Dora, Boots, Diego, and Swiper so much that they don't even realize they're learning. Yay! We to the park. There, there are a lot of inter and interpersonal skills that I think that, that kids take away from in terms of her level of confidence and leadership and kindness and the, you know, the strength of uh, all the friendships that uh, Dora has with all of her characters that I think are really important for preschoolers. And Dora the Explorer even takes it a step further, teaching kids about language and culture. The fact that Dora is a Latina heroine is, uh, I think, a really strong, unique aspect of this show. Um, that fact that her bilingualism really helps solve problems along the way and how empowering it is uh, to speak more than one language. I was so worried, Caballo. Te quiero mucho. That horse sure loves Dora. And I love him, too. When there's all these natural interactions and very close interactions between D Dora and friends, uh, that's showing like to the monolingual speakers like all this other world can happen in another language. It's safe and it's fun and come come on, let's try it. In fact, in this new season, can one of Dora's friends from around the world um, visit Dora and tell her about their culture and they help her by telling them more about their country and what they're from. Hi! My name's Najim. I'm from Egypt where my family has a camel farm. Caitlin is the perfect girl for this part. For starters, her voice sounds nearly identical to the original Dora. Did you try to imitate Dora's voice, or did you bring some of yourself to it, or did it come naturally? I definitely tried to imitate the original voice. I changed my voice to make it more high-pitched and lots of energy. But I also tried to put my own little personality into Dora, but I also like to maintain her original characteristics that um, make her so popular with children. Caitlin definitely understands why preschoolers love the show so much because she too was a huge Dora fan growing up. The show came out in 2000, I was about four years old, and I had a little Dora bedroom, the sheets, curtains, dolls, toys, books. Um, everything. She still can't believe she's actually the voice of Dora, but it's starting to sink in now that she's spending about two days a week in the recording studio. There's your wishing star. It's there for you when you need it. Caitlin is one busy girl with her acting and singing career, homeschooling, and of course her Dora recording sessions. Her days are hectic, 
but she says she manages to find time for friends, movies, and sports too. She says her parents help her manage her busy schedule. They're really good at, they teach me to balance things out, they have a right schedule for me, and I manage to get my own free time as well as my work time, and everything just fits in perfectly. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks for helping. Gracias. Gracias. She is such a sweet girl and so talented, too. If you would like to watch an episode of Dora the Explorer with your kids, you'll find it on Nick Jr. weekdays at 10.30 and noon. Thanks so much for watching Parents TV. See you again next time.